Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on my hair situation. It's been three months since I went shampoo free or poo free as I call it. Um, I really like it. I'm not having any problems, so I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, so basically what I started out doing was I started with just the um, lemon juice and baking soda. I didn't think it really did much, so I went ahead and just went straight water. Uh, what I normally do is just take a comb, go into the shower like you normally would, and just start combing my hair, usually using the bigger bristles or wider bristles than going to the smaller bristles. It was kind of weird at first because... I was so used to hopping in the shower and using soap and things like that and it was kind of ch changing up the routine. So at first it was weird but now I'm used to it, don't think anything of it. I do have to use soap in my legs unfortunately just because um, when I started shaving it was tearing up my legs. So I went ahead and started using um, an organic uh, vegan soap that just a bar soap and that's the only place I use it, only on my legs. Don't use it on my armpits or anything. I know, sounds gross, but really, I'm not having any problems. And trust me, I ask people all the time, do I stink, do I stink? So, I'm good, I don't stink. Uh, so, this is my hair. This has no product in it whatsoever. I hop out of the shower, use the same comb, comb through it. Uh, most days, I just go au naturel. Um, now that it's getting a little bit cooler in Ohio, I'm starting to actually blow dry my hair and and I use the flat iron on the front when I do my hair, but other than that, I don't use any products. Um, no pomades, no hairspray, nothing. It's kind of cool because the grease, the natural grease or oil of your hair is almost like its own product that it just kind of holds your shape. Uh, I don't know how it would be if I had longer hair, so it would be kind of weird, I think. Um, the first few weeks, it was kind of rough. It was like you know, you'd touch your hair and your whole head wouldn't, like, all your hair would move. It was kind of like you had a little helmet on, but now I'm used to it. It's cut down a little bit. Something I've definitely realized, I tend to say low-fat raw. That's usually my mantra. Um, but some days I don't, and I do notice it. I notice it in my hair, most of all, if I have any fats. I don't want to say any fats, but more fats in my diet. It definitely shows in my hair, or even in my face. I no longer use any facial cleansers. Um, or anything. So I do feel that when I first started, I definitely found that I needed to wash my hair a little bit more. Um, I'm a normal person. I would think that I wash it once a day anyway. Uh, I definitely have gotten back down to the once a day instead of the twice a day. But to start out, that's definitely what I did. So that's that. Uh, for deodorant, I no longer use deodorant either. I know a lot of the stuff I've already talked about on the blog, but I figured I might as well do a video. I don't use deodorant at first. I started with nothing, and unfortunately, it just, no. I, I don't want to stink whatsoever. I mean, like I said, I'm kind of paranoid about that. So I went to the Thai Stone. It I love it. I really do. You just dampen a little bit, place it on your armpits. Um, they also have a foot spray. I was kind of hesitant at first, thinking, yeah, how is this going to work? But really, it does. And in the summer, I had to work in a school that was not air-conditioned, so I was in the heat all day long. Mind you, not in the sun, but in the heat, and I was sweating pretty good. No problems whatsoever. Uh, same thing with my runs. I go running, obviously, a lot, and I haven't had any problems. As with anything else, you know, after a very, very long day, you know, you might start having some, hmm, and definitely need a shower. But other than that, actually, I think it works better. I found in the past that my my deodorant, I actually become like became like a immune to it or something. I always was switching it up, so I love that. Uh, lotions gone totally. Um, I'm down to coconut oil. Uh, most people use this sometimes to add into their foods or other different things. There's a ton of uses for it. I just got it at the local health food store. You can get it at some grocery stores. Not all. Not always though, but usually uh, it's like this white, almost wax film. Once you touch it, it just immediately melts in your hand. So right now it's solid because it's pretty chilly in here, but normally it's liquid like in the summertime. And what I did is I just recycled a little old pod of lotion, put it in there, and so I have this with me all the time. I wanted to go no lotion just like everything else or no product whatsoever, but it's going to be a process. Maybe I'll get there, maybe I won't, but that's my main goal was to eliminate chemicals that were, you know, on, put on my body, um, or just being dependent on stuff. Obviously, I'm still dependent on certain things, but in, I have a handful of things instead of an overabundance of things. And that's basically what I'm trying to do 
throughout my entire lifestyle is just trying to reduce all the chemicals, reduce exposure to toxins, uh, re reduce my dependency on certain products and things like that. So, so far so good. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, three months so far with all these products or lack of products down to these products and I love it. So I plan on keeping it on and I hope that other people are willing to try it. It's, it's definitely awesome. So uh, keep on smiling and be grateful.